We have another question, and this is one that several people have sent in. I guess I'll ask this because he said something about you. Did you see the latest Dave Meltzer tweet about you? No, I, no, because I believe I've uh, mentioned that I've blocked Uncle Dave so that I don't get stupider by osmosis reading his fucking lunacy uh, on uh, on on modern wrestling. Well, I'm going to try this. I haven't played this. We'll see what this is. This is something Rocky the Ramon sent in. Let's play this before we read this tweet. This is a CNN Cornet News Network update. What has Crazy Uncle Dave tweeted this time? <laughs> and now over to Brian and Jim. Well, thank you, Rocky the Ramon. We are here with so this it, news it update. Happens, it happens so often now we have our own stingers for it. That's right. You know, let me... I can't talk with this in the background. Let me turn this off now. <laughs> that sounds like my stomach after dinner at Taco Bell. So someone, oh, no, excuse me. So Dave tweeted out last night, as we are recording, Priest beat Miz in a match with zombies as lumberjacks. It was far worse than it reads. And okay. someone named Mark D21 responded, Boy, am I glad I didn't watch that pay per view. Proof once again that Jim Cornette is right about everything. <laughs> so that... Well, Dave could not let that stand. Dave responded to that. Even quote, now, did he, did he come back and say, but wait, I watched it again. It was a great match. He quote tweeted that comment and said, if he was, AEW would have folded in February 2020 and NXT would have beaten them every week on television after the first month. Omega wouldn't have drawn the three largest non-WWE pay-per-view numbers since 1999. Let me know what shows he predicted that correctly. So there's our latest update. This guy said Jim was right. This lumberjack matching before I was about we knew to say, about the He not only said I was right, but he agreed with Meltzer. <laughs> and then Dave got hot. How dare you agree with me while at the same time saying something good about Cornette who says things bad about my little friends. It, it, the guy that mows Dave's lawn knocks on the door. Dave opens the door. The guy that mows the lawn says, you owe me $75. And Dave says, well, I'll have you know that AEW sold more pay-per-views than any other lawnmower people <laughs> in history of... It's... <laughs> Is it an issue now? Does it, has Dave ever been on medication that he can not be on now that is causing some type of short circuit in his in his brain chemistry? Does he need to be on medication, or is he is he off of it? Needs to be on it, or is he is he on it? Needs to be off of it, or what the fuck is it that he can't process that a lot of fucking people don't like? That stupid fucking program or the stupid fucking people running the program. No, this is specifically silly... about you. This is about you. But what's up? It's about me, but it's because I'm the I'm his whipping boy because I call attention to every stupid thing they do, every stupid thing they say, and everything they get wrong because it's rotten wrestling and I'm offended by it. And I've been offended by the rotten wrestling that most of them have been doing since before AEW was formulated. It's just that there never before was one idiot with enough money to waste and a lack of enough sense to put all the outlaw mud show goofs in the same place at the same time. So now we get a plethora, a cornucopia of mud showness every Wednesday night that's watched by a small group of people in the overall scheme of things in pro wrestling, and is it's he will not, under any circumstances, even attempt to be halfway honest or fair. No matter what they do, he will spin it in such a way that it sounds positive, even when it's fucking stupid. And if anybody says anything about anything, he will figure out a way to tie it to AEW. And the only way that he can defend what I say about them, their show being rotten, and them not knowing what the fuck they're doing, is by, well, but nobody else is doing any better. 
Yeah, because the whole thing sucks. Because shit like this is what's killed the wrestling business. I'm not saying it's going to get any better. The wrestling business is not going to get any more popular than it is now. It's going to get less popular because of people doing shit like AEW, like WWE with the zombies, and because of people like Dave Meltzer, who used to know the difference, at least between good and bad wrestling, and would admit that, but now because he's looked up as somebody or looked up to as somebody finally by these fucking little children and they're friendly to him and he has apparently he don't have a dog or a cat or anything else to lavish his attention on so he fawns over them and and everybody that's known dave for three years is oh well dave loves that type of thing and everybody that's known Dave for 30 years is like, what the fuck has happened to Dave's mind? So, uh, the again, I, I just as soon not talk about Dave anymore because it's sad that a fucking guy that had that much respect from so many people for learning so much about wrestling has to go out in flames at the end of his life by rolling over and playing dead for these fucking mud show cosplay artists instead of telling them what he, I assume really thinks because he can't believe this shit. If, if, if he had seen shit like this in any other year over the 40 years, he's been writing about wrestling. He would have scoffed it out of the fucking building, but because it's his friends and the fucking cool kids. And now it's okay. It's fine now. He can't really believe that. Is he? Is So again, I'd as soon just leave it alone because I'm done with Dave. I'm disappointed in Dave. I'm embarrassed for Dave and by Dave that he acts this way and he's ruined his reputation, especially for these fucking nobodies, for nothing. Ruined his fucking 30 years. He builds this up and he throws it in the tank for these fucking jack-offs. Fuck. But he can't, he can't get me out of his mind. He will bring me up if somebody's asking about the fucking weather in Albania. Well, Cornette was wrong about, he said it was going to rain. Mike Tanay knows the weather better. Yeah, Mike Tanay. <laughs> who knows more about wrestling than almost anybody else that I've ever talked to. He doesn't agree with any of this stuff. He can't. It, either that or every conversation that I've had with Mike Tanay, he was working me and lying to me about anything related to the wrestling business and anything that he liked in the wrestling business and anything he believed in in the wrestling business. If Mike Tanay is watching AEW thinking, wow, that's a really good show, fuck. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's wrong with Dave and I don't care anymore. And just be a little careful labeling other people as being out of touch when you have a disaster like you just had with uploading a Bruce Mitchell show, which immediately turned off <laughs> your people, who immediately went crazy, people started canceling, and you had to pull the show down for something that two seconds of thought would have told you what was going to happen here. A hey, two seconds of thought would have told people that nobody wanted to see Bruce Mitchell's fucking melting face 30 years ago much less today nobody wanted to hear from him he's never had anything to do with the wrestling business he's never had any expertise in the wrestling business and he's an obnoxious self-important sack of shit so then you've got a guy that's clearly lost his mind bringing on an obnoxious self-important sack of shit that nobody ever wanted to hear from to begin with on his program and people complain imagine that <laughs> 